Good afternoon. It is um, Monday. Let's see, February the 20th. Uh, this is Monica Davis. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Georgia. And thank you for joining me today, whether you're joining me live or later watching on the replay. Um, I think I've got it on my iPad. Hoping for no issues today. All right, let's see if there's anybody there. I think. Oh, let's see. Hi, Tammy. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. I will. Let me see if I can. I'm going to try to pan down to the puppies real quick. Let's see if I can do this and not lose the camera. Ooh, let's see. Where are they? There they are. So there's River and Sky. They're sleeping. Oh, now she got up. We'll hope that they stay that way. I gotta get everything back on my stand. <laughs> All right, my camp, my new phone is a little heavy, so I have to put weights on my stand so it doesn't tip over. But so those are the dogs, and uh, cross fingers they'll stay asleep. Last week I had a Busy week, I had uh, my oldest and youngest son here. My youngest had his two dogs here, so we had four dogs in the house all week. And if you remember, I think at the end of my Facebook Live, everybody started barking <laughs> last week. So that shouldn't happen this week, but the boys were here all week. Um, they left Sunday morning and my parents came they were here Friday and Saturday and also left Sunday morning. Um, my sister-in-law, brother-in-law, niece, and her baby were in town staying with my mother-in-law. And we spent time with them throughout the week. And they all came over here Saturday night. So we had four dogs, a baby, and ten adults here on Saturday. And then Sunday afternoon... Myself, well, not Sunday afternoon, Sunday morning, we let, we drove, uh, my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, my niece, and myself drove three hours each way to a bridal shower for one of our cousins, and so that took all day Sunday. So it's been a whirlwind of a week, um, starting last week, I had my PAWS team, Galentine's party, the Saturday before um, with one of the girls spending the night. So we had lots, lots, lots happening this week. But, and I did a class last Wednesday night and I'm gonna show you what I did in class. We are using the um, Day at the Farm Designer Series paper. If you haven't seen this paper, it is so, so cute. Um, and I've been wanting to use it for something and I used it for my card class last week and we made three fun cards um, and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the paper the cards and the coordinating stamp set and dies so let me go ahead and turn my camera down for you Whoop. hold tight All right, let's see if we can get organized here. And, hey Margie, hi Jane. I saw some other people pop in. I don't know who else I missed. Oh, that looks crooked, let's see. Is that a little straighter maybe? Maybe. Okay, so um, 
We have celebration going on, and this paper is part of celebration. You will find it right here on page eight in the celebration brochure. So it's the day at the farm, 12 by 12 paper. It's free with a $50 purchase, and it coordinates with the on the farm bundle, which is in the mini catalog. So if you got that bundle, which is 51, 25 and you get this paper for free. Um, we also added some additional celebration items, uh, which are these guys right here. Um, some punches, some embossing folders, a couple of kits, ribbon, masks, um, even a bundle for $100, and then some paper. So that got added. Uh, I will tell you that this Dainty Flowers paper has sold out. So hopefully if you wanted that for free during celebration, I sure hope you got it because now it has sold out. That one has gone. Um, also sold out in the mini catalog is the Lucky Clover Punch. Um, which is too bad because we aren't even into March yet, but that one sold out faster than they expected. The other two punches in the mini, the Easter Bunny Punch and the Country Bouquet Punch, those are currently unavailable, but they are coming back in. One, um, the Country Bouquet is expected back the middle of April and the Bunny Punch the middle of May. Um, we're also using today the Stylish Shapes dies, which are on low inventory. So those keep selling really fast whenever they get inventory in. All right, this is the paper pack we're playing with today, Day at the Farm. And this is the front and back of all the different papers. And I wanted to show you this piece right here, which is this one. Um, the full sheet because it is one of those with like a 12 by 12 scene. So each little piece is different. I think this one's cute enough. You could frame it um, and hang it if you had a farm themed, maybe a kid's room or wherever you had a farm themed room. I think it's adorable. Uh, we actually have one of these windmills in the front of our neighborhood. And then down the street, we've got what's called the three silos. There's three of them. Um, that's right up the street from us. And there's lots of farms and stuff around where I live. So that paper is in there. And then, uh, let's see, let me move all these. So. There's a coordinating stamp set called On the Farm, and then these are all the dies. I kind of wanted to show you because the coordination of the dies, they co it coordinates with the paper. So this paper, you can die cut the cow, the pigs, the sheep, the little um, branch right there, and even all these little flowers. So you could die cut all the images in this full 12 by 12 sheet. It covers, you know, just repeats all of these throughout. So that coordinates, but the dies also cut out all these stamped images in the stamp set. So the same ones that are in that paper. So if you don't get the paper and you just use the stamps, you can do that. But you've also got dies to cut out the silo, the chicken, the trees, the barn, the little flower, the haystack or hay roll, hay bale, whatever you want to call it, and the clouds. And then you've got more dies. You've got the windmill. You've got the little ducks, the big goose, two little pigs, two little cows, or rabbit. You've got these hills of grass 
which include um, some little detail work in there. You've got, this is actually the inside, like the, it fits inside the sheep so that you can cut out the sheep with little curly, curly fur. And then this would cut out um, like grass or hills at the edge of your paper. So there's a whole bunch of dies in this die set and it coordinates a lot, has so much coordination. I don't know if I can get all these back in here. Let's see if I can get them all. The dies don't come with the magnet sheets, those I've ordered from somewhere else, but all right, that's that guy. So let's see, did I miss any questions? Hi Lou, good afternoon everybody. Um, so the cards we're making, these are from card class on Wednesday. So we're gonna go through and make these cards using, it. I'm mostly featuring the paper, um, we're adding words and you could always switch those out. I'm using some words from a few different stamp sets. Um, so here is, this is the yellow striped paper. I've used the stylish shapes, so I cut out the circle from the grass. I've used the cloud punch to punch a cloud. And then I die cut out of that designer paper, the cow and the little flower. I have um, the trio. This is that trio of baker's twine. There's a garden green, a pumpkin pie, I think a coastal cabana in there. I'm using the garden green and then I have a strip. So for this card, I'm using a stamp set called Happy Labels. It's actually a bundle. It comes with this stamp set and this punch called the Happy Labels Pick a Punch. So this is like six punches in one. You've got two different edges and you've got three different widths that you can slide in to punch. So we're gonna use, um, I'm gonna use this little scallop edge and I have what's supposed to be a three quarter inch strip. That one seems a little wide. I didn't do it good. I usually, these are just off cuts from other layers. So if you wanna look and see that you've got it all the way slid in. And then we'll punch an edge. And we'll do it again. Get it in there. There we go. So that's just giving us that little edge. The other edge, let's see what that one. I'll slide that one in there. So this one is, it looks more like a ticket. Um, you know, like a ticket stub. This is what that one, I don't know if you can see it. Let me hold those up so you can see the two different edges that that punch creates. And then you can just add your different width, widths of strips in there to punch that edge. So that's called the Happy Labels Pick a Punch. And I'm starting to label my punches now so I remember their names. So that's that guy. And I'm using, you are my happy place is, are the words I used on here because I thought, well, here's this cow on this grassy hill. That's his happy place, right? 
you want to look at the place. So that's what we're going to stamp for our words. I'm stamping in the memento black, but you could also use the garden green. I think that would work, or even like a soft suede from this cow. All right, I realized as I was about to go live that I don't know where my bottle of glue is, so we're opening a new bottle. to go light with your glue. I'm really not even squeezing that and it's since it's brand new it's coming out without me even having to squeeze. My piece is four inches by five and a quarter. There's that. Then I'm going to add my circle with the little hills of grass. Find my. We're just gonna have to use little bits. I don't throw away my edges on these sheets of dimensionals. I go all the way around. I just snip the edges. So we're going to put that right there. We're going to add a cloud. Now there is a smaller cloud in the die set, so you could use that. Add that. So this twine, all I'm going to do is fold it. I'm going to fold it like into thirds and it's going to go right there and I'm going to stick a glue dot. I'm going to put a glue dot on my project. And then I'm just going to stick that in the glue dot to hold it in place. Then my label is going to go over the top. So since I've got half the label off and the other half on top of my circle, which is already raised, what we'll do is put a dimensional on this side and a little bit of the glue on that side. And then we've got our cow. And then we're going to add this leaf, oh. or the flower, I should say. So there is a quick and easy card. With the cow, I think he's adorable. So, I hope you like that one. Thanks, Tammy.
So these cards were inspired by some cards I saw um, from one of the artisan, I think it's one of the artisan design team members. Um, I made some changes, I think in the color. Well, she did the cards using um, the paper with the little bears in the, in the annual catalog. And then I wanted to do, do it with the farm, but I think later she came back and did some with the farm animal paper as well. So I guess we were thinking alike. So that's card number one. Here is the second card. Um, this one was not one of her, her designs. I think this one came from somewhere else. Maybe this one was a combination in my head of a couple of different ideas. So I've got thick white base. This is the farm paper and then I have die cut one of the stitched squares out of the front to create a window. I have a black layer that's going to go behind there. And I've got the floating square that will go in the center. We're going to add the pigs and we are going to add the windmill and some of the black gingham ribbon. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to stamp from the on the farm stamp set, I'm going to stamp the grass and the clouds. So let me find those. There's my grass and there's my clouds. We're doing grass and garden green along the bottom. We're going to do the clouds. On the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I don't know if you saw these in the mini catalog. It's the mini, or I think they're called small blending brush. So we have a small blending brush. Let me grab some scratch paper. And we're going to just add some blue for the sky. And I'm going to pick up ink. I'm going to tap it on my scratch paper. And then I'm going to swirl it onto my little square. So you can keep adding color until you get it as dark as you want it. So that just adds just a little bit of blue sky onto that paper with the little tiny brush. And then we will put this card together. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do is um, cut this ribbon in half so that it is a thinner piece. And I could use one piece of ribbon for two cards. So if you're running short on ribbon, if you cut it in half, It'll go twice as far. So my niece came to my class and she made these cards. She is down here 
for the week with her new baby, but without her husband. So I think she sent um, him a card and then his grandma card, his parents a card. Out of all of these. All right, so there's our ribbon. And now we'll put it all together. that I want to add my ribbon this kind of looks like a um, like a Polaroid photo you know you could add a like that's the photo and you could maybe add some words at the bottom I decided not to put a greeting on this card I thought it was cute but I didn't think it needed any words on the front so you could just write a message on the inside And I really love the thin, you still get that look of the gingham ribbon, but it's just a smaller piece. Lou came to my class Wednesday, so she's already made these cards. There we go. That in the front. Trim the ribbon. We're going to add this on with dimensionals. So this is an extra piece that I could use to make some other card with. This as a floating piece in the center of that cutout. Then we've got our pigs, a mama pig and a baby pig. That went there. And I've got the little windmill. Which I'm just going to glue. A very small amount of glue on there. All right, that is that's the second card. I think it's so cute. The pigs are cute. There's that one. So that's our second card. And then our third card is this one. 
we're using a crumb cake card base. And then I have a layer that's been embossed with the 3D brick embossing folder. And then I have the die cut circles. So this is the stylish shapes. And they are all the different sizes. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's actually another size. I've got the die cut sheet. I have a strip for my words and a piece of linen thread. So the, what I'm going to start with is arranging and gluing my circles. So we're going to kind of, so you want to figure out where you want them and then start gluing them down. You can kind of use these to strategically cover any little bits that you don't like. And before I add it to the front of the card, I want to tie my linen thread around it. Yeah, the layering circles are a ton of fun. And that's the Stylish Shapes dies, and they're on low inventory. And I use these a ton. I think this is a basic set of dies that everybody needs. It's got the circles and it's got the squares and then it's got labels. That there. So for this one, I did it as a happy birthday, and I used this big, bold happy birthday from the Artistically Inked stamp set. All right, you can ignore the... Um, Somebody can report that comment. Just ignore that. I don't see how to report it. We'll be done in a minute. So don't click on anything in that spam comment that just came in. And you should, somebody should be able to report it. And I'll get rid of that once I'm done. I guess that means I'm more popular today if I'm getting a spammer. I don't know why people can't do better things with themselves. So just ignore that. And we will be finishing up. Let me get some more, oops. Some more dimensionals. And that's going to go there, this is going to go here, and then we will add our sheet. So 
Let me do. If you guys ever see those spam comments you on a Facebook Live, um, there is a way to report it. I just can't see it right this minute while I'm doing the live. And then I'll delete them all. But don't ever click on any of those links, even if they tag you, we'll delete them. All right, there is that. It's actually cute just like that, even without the little sheep on there. But since I have him cut out, I will go ahead and add him. There's the third card. Ooh. I knocked my trash can down. All right, those are the cards for today. And I just, I love this paper. I wish it would stick around with that stamp set bundle for a while. Let's see, let me bring these other cards back in here. All right. happy birthday these could all be happy birthday cards they could all be just hello cards you could use these for almost anything all right online ordering um, for February the host code is the 3tbjcz6p so that's the host code if you're ordering with me for the month of February. Um, we are approaching the end of February, which means we are approaching the end of celebration. So you've only got a short period of time left to get this cute paper and any of the other celebration items you may want. So thanks, Margie. Thanks for reporting those. Um, I hope you like the cards, and I'll see you guys again next week. So we have one more Monday before celebration ends. Um, I'll have to see what I haven't shown you yet. I don't know. And then we've got new stuff coming March 1st, so we might be previewing a couple of things from that instead. So have a great week. Um, enjoy today at least if you're here in Georgia where I am the weather looks beautiful today we've had some really cold weather but today looks like it'll be nice with the pigs yeah I love the little pigs I like the cow though too he's so cute and even the chickens I love that paper too lots of fun fun creations you can make with this paper so have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye.